So if you're not peeing in your wetsuit, you're not drinking enough. Hello, I am Miriam and this is Chris. I'm driving. And he's got his upper lip shaved. He's mm -hmm. got his scuba face on. My scuba face. We are heading scuba, scuba, right scuba face, now scuba, scuba to the face. airport yep. with our scuba faces because we're going to go to Florida to scuba dive. Yeah. So we'll see you there. to Florida. <laughs> We're here and we just got off the airplane and went straight to the beach. Yeah, well there's not much else to do and we can't check into our hotel for another 10 hours. So, yay! So, we're in jeans, but it's fine. I'm gonna take my shoes off and wander around in the sand, I think. Oh, okay. Hi everybody. Hi! So we just got done scuba diving. We actually did three dives today. It's the most dives is, we've done in one day. Yeah, well, and that's in part we were breathing extra oxygenated air. Mm -hmm. It's called nitrox. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> we we didn't have breakfast except for some stuff that Rachel brought. Yeah, which was technically breakfast. They, they were sausages. They were yeah. like little corn dogs. They were so cute. <laughs> it's a sausage with a breading around it, and the breading is chicken flour, cream cheese, eggs, eggs, and a little seasoning. Yeah. So yummy and easy to eat in the car. This is pizza, pizza, what do you call them? It's just a pizza bite, so all it is is, um, it's cheese. pepperoni, cheese, and like half of a spoon, because you don't want it, it's going to be wet enough, mm -hmm. um, of tomato sauce, just... Uh, baked in the oven really hot like you know 400 degrees put it on the broiler and get it good and juicy and then I put it in the freezer real quick to solidify it that was freaking fantastic um, super delicious. um so but we didn't have breakfast. didn't have lunch which was fine um, other than some dehydrated bacon that Joe had brought yes um, and then for dinner we had buffalo wild wings which was, and it was which was great Staying keto on vacation. Just yeah. have a good plan. It's it's not too bad. Every time we go on a dive and we haven't been on a dive for a while, I just have to chill out. Mm -hmm. Because I get in the water and I'm like... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm burning through air. Which and is funny I just have to relax. So there was a, quite a current. And so we had to go down an anchor line mm -hmm. like hand over hand which is fine because you hold on to it but it felt like we were moving even though we were sitting still and it was yeah. a bit surreal you could swim faster than the current yeah, uh, yeah but or... it was a little bit like running uphill <laughs> Joe found a lobster, but it was pregnant. How can and you, you want tell? I I don't know. So that's why tell. he let it go? Yeah. I got a video of that lobster. Yeah, well he it's funny, he caught it 
And then it and got then he, out. He was trying to hand me the rope. Yeah. But I w- didn't clue in quick La-dee, enough. Da, da, da. And he lost the lobster. Yeah. And then he caught It was again. really cool. It was swimming backwards, which was interesting to I see. Know. I know. I think I got that on video. Because yeah, that's see. how they swim. Yeah. It was really cool. But it was a big one. Yeah. And uh, then he caught it again. Yeah. And then he they have a, a special... It's a piece of metal that is the exact size. Anything bigger than that, you can take. Anything smaller than that, you need to put back. You also can't take any that are pregnant. Because oh, okay. you want there to be... More lobsters. More lobsters. Eat. And anyway, <laughs> we went back to the dive shop, filled up air tanks again, and got to see a lot of really cool stuff. Everybody else saw a turtle. I did not yeah, see the turtle. Because it was right in front of his face. I'm just Everyone's kidding. Everyone's like... <laughs> There's a turtle, and I saw this like big pipe stuck in the ground. I'm like, cool. I don't know why you're so excited about that pipe. Is this was this like a wreck? There were all these tires around it too. I'm like, okay, tires. Well, and then and you're there like, they are. literally pointing your camera right at the turtle. <laughs> it wasn't close to his face, um, and that uh, was where it was getting a little bit silty. Yeah. So even though I could see the turtle. It was pretty blended in with little speckles of dirt. We'll go back and review the footage and You'll see. You'll be it. like, you're right. That yeah. is silty right there. Now it is. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. It, and when you play hard, hard, you got to sleep. Or you won't be you able to play hard. the next day. Sleep hard! <laughs> ah! Okay. Well, thanks a lot. We'll catch you tomorrow. But we're going to go scuba diving again. So Miriam brought a bunch of electrolytes. Because she... Yeah. You didn't, you didn't drink enough yesterday, right? No, definitely not. Mm. So yeah. I've already drank one water and I got my little drops here. I've been just preloading. You don't realize how much scuba diving takes out of you. And you get like cramps and you feel very fatigued afterwards. And you're like, I'm just swimming. It doesn't seem like it's mm-hmm. that much effort, but you definitely come up feeling like you want a whole bunch of electrolytes. And something they said on the boat yesterday that kind of hit me was if you don't pee in your wetsuit, yeah, then you're lying. Kind, there, are two <laughs> kinds of, there are two kinds of scuba divers, the captain said. Those that go to the bathroom in their wetsuit, and those that lie about not going to the bathroom in their wetsuit. And if you're not going to the bathroom in your wetsuit, if you're not peeing in your wetsuit, you're not drinking enough, and you are probably going to get sick. So, you need to drink more, was the takeaway. <laughs> and I realized... The entire time we've been scuba diving, I had not peed one time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you know what? I actually probably am dehydrated. And that's not safe. It's not safe to be underwater that deep and on be dehydrated. So I've been really trying to make sure that I have to go pee. <laughs> so and you can drink the seawater, but it's full of uh, jellyfish. So don't do that. Yeah. yeah. just left Joan Rachel's house. We finished our last dive of this trip. Did you have a good time? I did have a good time. 
Yeah, me too. I think dive the last number seven. dive was probably the best. And it was so interesting to me because there were a lot of things that I was not used to doing and I feel like I was pretty confident with myself with scuba diving and I feel like I've learned a lot of more a lot of more stuff. A lot of more stuff. I'm grateful I got this opportunity to do this. It's really awesome. But I was thinking about the different things. With keto, you've got to put some processes in place for you to be successful. So you don't have to make the, the same decisions over and over mm -hmm. again. You've decided stuff once and you're just going to keep on doing it. Yeah. We were just looking at some of the footage we got from our dives. We did seven dives, it was super awesome. But I wanted to talk about a few things. The first like, couple of dives, I was dropping the camera like all over the place. <laughs> and I, I would drop it, it was running, and we're like catching all this sand <laughs> or whatever. And then we got I got back on the boat and uh, I had left the camera on, so it was like, forever footage of like my butt and then like the boat and everything it was just like upside down footage so much of that is because i was getting my processes in place i was getting used to being in the water i was trying to get used to the current i was trying to make sure i was breathing correctly i was making sure all of my uh, gear was on right and at that point i didn't care if i was filming or not I turned it on, I'm like, oh, no, something's going wrong. Like my, I'm leaking a little bit. Like I gotta figure out my tubes and stuff. In our health journey, there will be times when we're focusing on getting to the meat of it, getting to what are we're eating right? Like how are we gonna add in exercise? Like all these different things. And when you add something in, sometimes you have to let something go. And so just like my scuba experience, I had to drop the camera and focus on what was most important, which was my breathing or my um, equipment because I was stressing about it and I'm like, I cannot relax and record all these beautiful fish if I'm not in control of myself. There are so many things in our lives that we feel like we're holding on to everything. Like I can do everything, but we can't. We can't do everything. And sometimes we just need to let it go and that's okay. And know that we can pick it back up later. I can pick up that camera in five minutes when I'm adjusted and I have my weights right and everything is fine. So I give you permission to let something go so that you're not so overwhelmed. Yay. <laughs> okay. We're done. We're done with our trip yeah. and now we're sad. Now we got one more sleep and then we're going to go to the airport mm -hmm. and get on an airplane and go home. Had a lot of fun with Joe and Rachel. Yeah. Um, it was funny today. We just wanted to hang out with them. So we spent the whole day driving around with them and it was great. Yep. And it was great. A lot of talking. We wanted to go to a Brazilian barbecue Again. or steakhouse, whatever. I am not over full which nice. is good. I stopped. Nice. I stopped right when I should have. I am over on my carbs today wow. for the first time in a while, but I got my protein and my fat in and I am going to tell Robert I accidentally went over on my carbs. Okay. And that's okay because it, it was mostly erythritol and uh, we had a little trail mix in the car. Yeah, and there so. were some like high key cookies in there. Yeah. And I, starting this morning, I'm growing my mustache back. Yeah! Oh, it's gonna look so good in a couple days. Okay. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. It was really fun. Let us know what your fun adventures were this week. If you're interested in scuba, I want to hear about it. <laughs> it sounded like you said I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> I want to hear if you think scuba's cool. Tell me if you think it is. If you think it's dumb, also tell me in the and, description below. And don't below. forget, all of us have something that we do. That's right. That brings us joy. And someone somewhere looks at it and goes, what? what? <laughs> it could be rebuilding antique cars. It could be collecting little tchotchkes. It could be, you are a kite person. Ooh, a kite person. Yeah, who hangs kites from their ceilings. I don't know. Yeah, what's we your all, weird thing? Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below, what is your thing mm -hmm. that brings you joy that everybody else looks at you and goes, you spend how much money doing what? <laughs> <laughs> 
collecting porcelain dolls. We actually ask that question when we're interviewing new employees at Keto Chow. Yeah, it's and pretty it's, fun. It's, it always has just fun stuff like one guy does renaissance fairs. Yeah, and one guy like, was, huh. used to be a private detective. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool business. Thank you.